Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Maggie Fivey and today we're gonna do a little chatty get ready with me. I'm gonna share with you my kind of go-to makeup look. I just got back from New York a couple days ago. This is pretty similar to what I was wearing while I was there um, because it was so hot, holy heavens, and it's really hot today here as well, hence why I'm in a tank top. I'm actually wearing my Be Brave tank top, which is like what I call my Jane the Virgin tank top. But the reason I'm getting ready today is later this afternoon, Jin is gonna come and pick me up and we're gonna go out for dinner for my birthday. Um, it was my birthday over the weekend, so actually a week today. It, when I'm uploading this, it was my birthday, so yeah. Oh, and elephant in the room, cut my hair again, and I dig how short it is. I feel very like, <laughs> I don't know why, but I love like the, the bob dance. This isn't even technically a bob. I think a bob's a little shorter, but eh, we're gonna go with it. I love it. <laughs> okay, let's get into this. Let's get started. Get out my miroir. Ooh. So what's new with y'all? I mean, with me, I'm now 21, which I <laughs> think is slightly cray. Um, but that's kind of it. <laughs> Grandma Max has been quite social this past week. I actually had a birthday dinner with my family last night, which is really nice. And I mean, this whole week I've been pretty social, which is pretty intense. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so I'm pretty proud of myself for that. Oh my gosh, let me show you my new makeup bag. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? It's like Lily in New York. <laughs> Madre bought it for me. It's very nice of her. Okay, so I just kind of have like a whole slew of products in here, mostly cream products, and we're just gonna use whatever I'm feeling today, you know what I'm saying? Okay, first of all, we're gonna do eyeshadow primer. I know I haven't been using a lot of primers recently, but like because of this heat, I feel like it's necessary. <laughs> I guess I can tell you about my trip. Um, so we were um, in New York from the 28th of June to the 3rd of July. And we just had a really good time. Went to go see a couple Broadway shows. We saw Hello Dolly and Anastasia and they were both really good. I mean, I particularly loved Anastasia to be honest. And it was so cool because, you know, we went to go see that show on the night of my birthday and <laughs> The next day we were like walking around, went to the Downton Abbey exhibit, which was amazing, highly recommend. Um, and then we were walking along and I saw this girl pass and I was like, she looks kind of familiar. And Dad and I both kind of looked at each other we're like, was that Anastasia? And it was, it was totally her. It was just so cool. Now for eyeshadow today, hmm, what am I feeling? Sorry, I'm gonna keep talking while I do my eyeshadow. We're gonna start off with Makeup Geek Creme Brulee. Um, I'm just gonna put this in my crease to give a little definition, you know? Um, but we actually had a couple other celebrity sightings while we were there, which was in freaking sane. So first of all, <laughs> um, when we were lining up to go into the um, Anastasia show, which was just off of Times Square in like one of those side streets, uh, it was so funny because I was I was like about to go in the door, like so close. If it had been a minute later, I would not have seen them, but. I was like looking around and I saw this girl walk by or like walking towards the area I was in and I was like wow like I love her outfit and she was wearing this like bohemian dress thing and I was like oh wow and her hair was like short and black and kind of curly and I was like wow like she kind of looks like Vanessa Hudgens and I like saw her from the side but I didn't see her from the front so I was like oh no it's probably not like it's probably just someone who's the same haircut and then I was like oh no it's not it's not but I kept looking and then I saw Austin Butler like looking at his camera or whatever and he started he like put, put his head up and like looked over and I made eye contact with him and I was like if it's Austin Butler then it's definitely Vanessa Hudgens and I was like holy heck like my 10 year old self is screaming right now because of High School Musical and um yeah but it was so funny because I made eye contact with him and, and he was just like kind of looked at me and I was like I'm like, and then he just kind of like looked at me like, oh shoot, oh shoot, and I was like, <gasps> so then I like literally went inside like the second after that, and I was like, mom, I just saw Vanessa Hudgens outside, she's like, what, where, and I was like, nope, you're not going back out, like, you're not going to embarrass me wrestling in front of Vanessa Hudgens, <laughs> but that was like, it was cray. So now I'm gonna take this Pixie by Petra Glowy Gossamer Duo, it's the shade Delicate Dew, which is the lighter out of the two, and I'm gonna use this kind of more goldeny side, I'm just gonna take it on my finger. I'm just gonna use it as like a light wash of eyeshadow. This is definitely way too dark for me to use on my face, 
but on my eyes it definitely works or it could probably be like a blush topper for me like if i use it a little bit differently but eh, i'll use it on my eyes today Ooh, i actually really like that but yeah so saw vanessa hudgens and austin butler freaked out and that was also my birthday too so i was like wow this is cray and then the next day we were at serendipity which is a place that's like really famous for what they call frozen hot chocolate went there for lunch and the food was all right at lunch but the frozen hot chocolate was really good and we we're like standing there like waiting for our table and it was a very small place and it was so hot outside we had just finished the downtown abbey exhibit and we were you know feeling pretty hungry so we were just like waiting or whatever and then this girl and her boyfriend walk in and i was like okay and i looked at her and i'm like oh she kind of looks like melissa is it benoist who's like supergirl and then I was like, but no, it's probably not her. And then she walked towards me because I was like kind of waiting on the side. Like the door's here. She walked through here to check in. And then she walked back and like stood across from me. And I was like, I think that's her. And then I saw her boyfriend who I know a little bit better because he was on the Vampire Diaries. His name is Chris Wood. And he's also on Supergirl apparently. I like did a little stalking once I saw them, you know. Um, <laughs> and yeah, they were there. And I think they were meeting up with some family and stuff. But I was like, wow! And so that was pretty intense too, but I like played it real cool, like real cool, but I, I, it's so funny because I feel like if I had seen someone else, like my mom was saying that we like just missed Priyanka Chopra by like a day in New York. Like apparently she and Nick Jonas were like biking in the Upper West Side, which is where we stayed. And I was like, if I would seen Priyanka Chopra, I would have not been able to keep my cool. But these other people, I kept my cool pretty, actually Melissa Benoist, I was pretty zen. Vanessa Hudgens, I was like, <laughs> like internally, you know, freaking out externally, slightly more cool. <laughs> but Priyanka Chopra, I would have been just like, I don't even know. <laughs> So now I'm just gonna do my mascara real quick. I'm using Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. This one is starting to die on me. It's starting to get a little bit more clumpy, um, but I'm gonna use it until it's dead because I really like this mascara. So yes, I'll be right back. Okay, letting that stuff dry. By the way, as well, I forgot to say, I am actually gonna change this something else before I go, <laughs> but um, I decided to do a poll on Instagram stories to see which dress I should wear. I know probably no one cares about that, but I was like, I just want to do it for fun. So next I'm going to go with the latest skin food just to give my skin a little glow and hydration. I already have all my skincare products on, like moisturizer, sunscreen, eye cream, you know, the works. And then I've actually been wearing a little bit of foundation. I know, I've been strictly no foundation for a while. But I saw, I think it was Alana Davison talking about MAC face and body, or maybe it was Jimmy Page, and I was like, wow, I own that, and I haven't used it in such a long time because I thought it was too dark for me. And it is probably a little tiny bit too dark, but it's so sheer that it's kind of not, you know, too bad. <laughs> but it doesn't feel like anything crazy on the skin, it's just very lightweight, kind of a bit more hydrating, but it just kind of evens things out, which is definitely what I'm looking for. So I just take a little of my fingers and I get, <laughs> I, get, I just uh, massage it into my skin, making sure to get on the ears too, because that hairline, y'all know. I just am really liking it, and I like how it kind of like sticks down a little bit, like instantly it becomes a little more tacky, so it kind of stays in place. But it just makes my skin look a little more alive, which I really appreciate. I did actually go to Glossier while I was in New York, uh, and I mm -hmm, spent quite a bit of dough at Glossier. I mean, would you expect any less? Like, no. Like, that, that <laughs> company is basically, like, what I want my makeup to be and my, like, you know, facade to be if I could choose. Um, even though it's literally like models wearing makeup, you know what I'm saying? So I understand that like some people are like, why would you buy makeup that's like supposed to be sheer? But I've just been loving that look recently and I know that so many YouTubers love their products. So, you know, I just want to try it out. But I did really find Samantha Rabin Doll's Glossier Full Face video. I found it hilarious. She was like, I am the shade dark. And that is the usual shade range for someone of Swedish descent. And I died, I died. It was so funny. I, I just, I love Sam. I've been loving her videos recently. <laughs> then I usually just kind of tap it around, you know, patting it all in. I feel like your fingers are just such a helpful tool in makeup. Like I've totally learned that, especially from Katie Jane Hughes, 
who just uses her fingers for a lot of application because I feel like they just really help everything look more like your skin. So while it's kind of like sinking in, I'm going to go with eyebrows. I've been using this NYX eyebrow gel. Um, it's waterproof. It's the one that comes in the tube. This one I haven't heard a lot of people talk about for a long time. And I understand why because it's a little hard to use. The tube is not the best packaging. I feel like it definitely should have like a brush or something. But I just put a little bit on the back of my hand. Just kind of warm it up with my finger. I, you know, say goodbye to that bit. <laughs> And then I just take this, which is my Essence Make Me Brow. It's actually like an empty container of it, or virtually empty. And I just kind of tap on there some of the product. And then I just go in and, you know, define the brows. And I found this really great to use. It's a really good product for heat, obviously, because it is waterproof. Um, which I think is a huge bonus, because it kind of just... A, fills in your brows easily, but you know it's not going to go everywhere, which is nice. Now, they get a little intense. I usually go on with a little Q-tip, especially in the front area. They tend, Sometimes it can get a little bit, you know, not as natural looking, and I just kind of go over it and blend it out a little bit. And then I go in with another spoolie, clean spoolie, and then blend it all out. I was going to say about the Glossier thing, um, I'm definitely going to be doing a Glossier haul, so that'll be coming up soon. I just wanted to film a little, you know, fun chat to get ready with me, kind of updating you what's been going on in my life. That will definitely be coming soon, so yeah. As for cheeks, I'm going to first go in with my L'Oreal Cushion de Soleil Bronzer. It's very lightweight, but it gives you a little bit of glow, so I'm just taking a tiny bit on the pad and just capping. I'm just going to do the other side and just blend it all in. I kind of put it almost in an area close to where, like, where my blush is instead of like a contour. Um, just so it kind of looks a bit more warm, you know what I'm saying? Not so much like a stripe. Again, going back in with those fingers. Now I'm going to go with some blush. We're going in with the Lancome Cushion Blush Subtil in the shade Splash Orange. A lot of this stuff was in my um, June Favorites video because I really want to show you guys how I've been using them. And this color is just beautiful. It's just the perfect summer blush for me. Like it gives you that healthy glow and flush without it looking too like, I don't know, painted on I guess you could say. I've been loving cream products. I mean, that's no surprise. <laughs> They're a dry skinned person's favorite or best friend. I'm just gonna take my Real Technique sponge. I got a new one out. Gosh, I love having a fresh beauty sponge. Are you with me? And I'm just gonna tap over the areas to kind of blend it all in. So for concealer, I'm gonna use NYX Gotcha Covered in the shade Ivory. Now, I personally find it really important to do my blush and bronzer before I put on my um, under eye concealer because sometimes when you put on like a cream blush on and it kind of gets on top of the under eye concealer, it can kind of make like a weird separation line and like, you nobody got time for that, you know? <laughs> I decided to use this one today because I just love the texture of this. It's quite um, emollient, so it really helps to kind of stick under your eyes. So I'm just going to... Pat it, you know, you know how to do under eye concealer, that triangle formation. Oh, I want to talk to you guys about the Downton Abbey exhibit. If you don't watch Downton Abbey, I mean, you gotta get on it because, oh heavens, I gotta watch it again. I was just like reminded how good that show was. I mean, it was sad as heck in certain parts, but it was really good. <laughs> but that exhibit was so beautifully done. I was in there for four hours <laughs> because what I liked about it is it wasn't just like about the show, like it kind of was also about like the time periods and like how society changed throughout the days of Downton Abbey, you know, or like throughout the time period of Downton Abbey and the characters and like um, the customs, how they changed and stuff like that. Also they had some of the costumes, like the wedding dresses. Oh heavens, the only one they didn't have was roses, which of course is my favorite wedding dress, but um, they had so many amazing costumes and it was just a beautiful exhibit, like so well done. They like recreated some of the sets, like, oh, so good. Oh man, though, I really wanted to see Catherine McPhee in the Waitress musical, but it was so funny because I looked it up and she was only going until June 
17th, I think was her last day. And I was like, no, and that's like a week, like no. And then later on, she um, actually got asked to stay on because I think Scorpion, the TV show she was on got canceled. So um, they asked her to stay on Broadway, I think like six more weeks or something. And I was like, oh, but then it was like literally starting on July 5th. And I was like, oh, <laughs> because we literally got back or left New York on the third. So I missed her by two days, which sucks. But, you know, there's a certain time when you have to say if it's going to be, it's going to be. And when it's not, it's not right. But, oh, man, I love Catherine McPhee's voice. I think she is so freaking talented. So if you can see her, I've, I've heard it's such a good musical. I'm using Benefit Boing concealer, by the way. This now matches me. So I think Grandma Maddox has gotten a tiny bit of color. But I forgot how good this concealer was because like you don't really even have to set it, which I think is freaking phenomenal because <laughs> setting things with powder, I mean, it's not a bad thing, but it, it's just like an extra step that like, yeah, I don't love to take, especially when I want to glow, but like it just covers it really nicely. The airplane blessed me with a little volcano, you know, as a parting gift, which, which was nice. So nice, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I only have lips left. Oh, highlight. Oh, wow, how could I ever get about a highlight? I really don't even need it. Like that glow is real, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm gonna add it anyway because I am so extra. <laughs> As you probably know. I'm gonna go with the Pixie Glowy Gossamer Duo again and I'm gonna take the lighter color this time, which is like the pink. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so I love it. I'm just taking this on like a little fan brush and we're just going to lightly disperse this. Um, are you, can you, oh, wow. Loving this y'all. <laughs> so Dana's at her mom's house right now and she's gonna have lunch with her mom before she comes to pick me up. And she's like, we ordered Greek food, but now the order is ten. I was placed 50 minutes ago and it still hasn't been picked up. And she's like, what else can go wrong? I've contacted customer service and I'm just dying over here. Like, that's just such a thing. Like, I always joke about Dana having like the worst luck in the world. Like, if there's something that's gonna go wrong or something's gonna happen that's like totally out of the blue, it's gonna happen to Dana. You know what I mean? There's just those types of people in the world who just attract the crazy shiz, you know? <laughs> oh, I love that glow. <laughs> well, I guess the last thing I need to do is lips. Am I feeling orange? Am I feeling berry? Oh, first we gotta go with this. This is for a Beauty Amplifier Mist. Oh, oh, hell no. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, woo. I haven't used that mist in a long time. And just like, bad at me, like a camel right there. Whew. Dang, you see the droplets on my chest? Let me just rub that in. <laughs> this mist, I'm still trying to figure out how I feel. I like how it actually does hold my makeup on, but at the same time, it's like a serious mist. It's not a bad mist at all, but um, if you don't like a really intense one, I don't know if I'd go for this. Just try it out in the store and see what you think. That's what I recommend. Oh, I'm gonna put a little bit of my NYX Wonder Pencil on as well, so my waterline. Stab myself in the eye, why not? <laughs> I'm gonna take this little brush. I'm gonna go in with the lighter color of the two from that same Pixie highlight, and I'm just gonna fluff that on the inner corner. This is a really great highlighter. If you can find it, I would highly recommend. Ooh, or... Nope, I think it's gonna be this one. Is this? Ooh, shoot. <laughs> Relax, Grandma Meg. So I'm gonna use this one, which is the Pixie by Petra Shea Butter Lip Balm in the shade Ripe Raspberry. I love these. Now the difference between these and the fresh ones is they're a lot more of a, I just like a more like a satin finish. So they're not as glossy and um, movably. <laughs> like I love the fresh ones, do not get me wrong, but they don't really stay in place, um, which is totally fine. Like they're not really supposed to, but these ones stay in place a little bit better. But at the same time, you kind of don't get as much shine. So it just depends on what you want. But putting that on. Mm. Oh, heavens. I love that color. Okay, I feel like I need a little bit more blush now. So I'm going to go back in with the Lancome Cushion Blush again. And we're just going to see how this layers on top of the highlight. 
This should be interesting. It actually looks pretty nice. Dang. I definitely feel like cushion blushes and bronzers are a lot easier to work with on top of liquid foundations and stuff because they just don't really move around the product as much maybe. I don't know if it's just me, but that's what I find. Oh yeah, got the glow. Mm. So that is it, y'all. I just love this look. I love how glowy it is. I love how healthy it looks and just, mm, just like, oh yeah, drinking in the summer. <laughs> that's what I feel like right now. I'm so excited to see Ginge tonight. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna have all the products I use linked in the description box. Um, and yeah, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye!